Joey's going to run through the line. We'll touch on key styles and go from there. Right on. Hey, guys. Uh, so starting up first, this is the anti-series varsity jacket. The anti-series that Riffbro's bringing in for holiday 14 is a anti-cold, anti-rain, anti-just about everything. So it's going to fit a numerous amount of weather conditions for you. This is the varsity jacket. As shown in the catalog, um, that's how it will come uh, without those pieces there. Uh, next up, the MF Take 2 jacket. This is just a layering piece, uh, nylon jacket. Good for under or over anything you got there. Next up, the Jensen jacket right there. Both available in the brown. And we have it in the black as shown right there. Hood with the lined fleece plaid. We are considering this a key stop. Next up, the piney jacket. Over here. So this is the gunmetal color. So something to remember just when it looks a little bit green in the uh, catalog there. But it comes as gray with the cord uh, neck. And then up next, the raw cord jacket. Just a button down jacket. Sherpa lined. Uh, available there in the brown. This is the gun metal. And then this is the gun metal. So looking a little bit greener. But when you see there's what you get. Next up, the township jacket. So again, just a button-up piece, good military styling uh, for a jacket. There. Next coming up, the Stratton jacket. So again, it's got the collar, hood, fleece jacket, uh, good for just about anything to zip down. This is a carryover from fall. It used to be called the Tofino jacket. They used to retail at $149. It's at $109 now. He also sells tons of units if you bring this guy in. And this is, yeah, the black colorway shown here. Next up is the Windswell jacket. This is not for midgets. Or, <laughs> this is the child's version of it. Um, this is just the only sample we had. Um, but it's a nice, good windbreaker, uh, fit for a lot of conditions, but uh, it will come bigger than this. So we have the Dixon Flacket, which is just a nice like button up, basically hoodie styling, you know, with the looks layered like a vest. So the MF, coming in back into the Anti-Flea series, this is the MF Anti-Series Zip Hood. So again, it's got the anti sort of cold feel to it, the fleece on the inside, and the bonded fleece to take away rain. Available both. Oh, sorry? This is the new one. This is the new one? Yep. Yeah, so this is the palladium anti fleece. So again, part of that anti series, just something a little bit smaller, a little bit more of a layering feature on it there. Next up, the Sherpa. Patrol right here, or sorry, the Surf Patrol Sherpa fleece. So Sherpa lined hoodie, zip down, the nice accent draw cord right there. Same style as our Dawn Patrol zip up, but with the full Sherpa, and it's at a really good price. So this is the yeah, so this is the Surf Patrol zip up fleece. So basically same as that, just without the Sherpa line. So just a regular hoodie, same draw cords. And this is the Ocean Wind zip up fleece. The bundles hood. So, pullover pocket right there with the big thick uh, pull strings. But, detail, it's a little bit more of a, a trendy lifestyle piece for us, and we are considering this a key style. And next up, the Sun Dog. Zip hood, right there as shown. Um, we're carrying over the mummified pullover fleece. We do not have. Jay is uh, officially stolen. Jay is wearing it. The house. <laughs> as well, the Beach Street pullover fleece. But both of these are carryovers, uh, so they're the exact same as what you've seen before. The Rippy zip fleece. Up next is a regular zip hoodie. Bringing into the. The Joe Mama PFD Zip Fleece. 
Weddy fleece, so with the Rip Curl Weddy logo uh, right there as a patch, or sorry, as a patch, silk screen patch. And bring into the Frenchy fleece. So again, more of a lifestyle piece, more of a streetwear piece. This one's different in the line because it is French terry. It's not a cotton, so it's going to be lighter weight. sort of styling as well, lighter crew. Coming next into flannels. So this is our Bunkers long sleeve flannel. Good bright colors, it's offered in three. I think that second colorway, the black along with this will be the two top colors. What is this one called? The, yeah. the Drebin long sleeve flannel, so available in Four different colorways. All of them pretty good. Specked out flannel. So full flannel with a little bit specked out sort of looked in through in through the material. And we are calling this a key style. Picked up the Briggs, or sorry, Biggs long sleeve flannel. Nice lighter weight. To the Rojas. I think these colors will be really strong for holiday. It's a, it's a different look than what we have for fall. So we're really excited about this piece. Yes, the Los Altos long sleeve flannel. So a flannel piece, but with the button down sort of look to it, uses as a layering piece over top of a hood, anything like that. Very versatile piece. Same with the Moonstone long sleeve flannel. Come next, it is Sherpa lined, so it's good for warm, uh, sorry, cold weather, and uh, you can use it as anything that you want. It's an update to a piece from fall, which uh, Jay kind of referred to it as the Alberta dinner jacket. <laughs> the Hayward long sleeve flannel here. It's kind of the same thing as what you're getting in the Moonstone flannel, just with still Sherpa lined, but with a hood. Time Bomb long sleeve shirt. Uh, this one is red in your catalog. It shows as rustic brown. It's definitely more of this burgundy. -ish. It's more of a red. Yeah. These are the, yeah. And then from there, we move into our pretty much our number one long sleeve, uh, which is the R Time uh, shirt. He's very much of a key style. Uh, new colorway right here shown in the forest green. This is a little bit lighter as it will come out. And then the just blue. So this is the R Time Palm shirt. So same same look as what you're getting in the R, uh, R Time long sleeve shirt, but with that nice surfy floral print. Next in the Madeira, or sorry, this is the, yeah, Madeira. the Madeira long sleeve shirt, available here in the uh, brown as shown. Um, all the colorways are going to be just, uh, looking just as good. Back to the R Time uh, series, the R Time short sleeve shirt. So that same colorway as we had seen before. Um, just with the short sleeves. Sorry, we're communicating. So now we're into the R Time Palms short sleeve shirt. So shown here in the blue and the black. Um, I think this is like one more of the key styles too, especially with the the little surfboard palm tree cross print. This is a on. solid update to our palms tea that we did two years ago and then the one with the Pineapple Express from last spring. And yeah, then the Madeira short sleeve shirt. So, same as the long sleeve shirt that I showed you before. And the Daydreamer short sleeve button up. Nice little party shirt. 
very much of a party shirt. Into the Bennett short sleeve shirt. Nice stripe there. Cadero short sleeve shirt. So available both navy and the black colorways right here. And last, the sand dollar short sleeve shirt. So nice, lightweight. It's a good ripstop, dad friendly shirt. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Now we move into sweaters and starting with the Hogarth uh, sweater. Um, more, these are going to be more of a lifestyle piece. Again, so a lot more streetwear. Really nice looking collection. We've never done anything like this for men, so this is a really good step for us to have something that's minimal branding, good quality, sweet price. The Freddy sweater coming up next, so exactly what you've seen in Freddy Krueger. Um, just with a nice little patch on the left side there. The Creek Walker shirt, it's a nice little bit of a longer fit with the button up, more of like a Henley style with the hood. Really nice piece, middle braiding leather patch on the left side. The Ship Rock pullover, so a nice lightweight pullover hood, the kangaroo pouch in the left side pocket. So again, this one is going to be lighter weight than the rest of this part of the knit line. So just, just a good easy piece. The deck hand pullover. So again, sticking with that little bit of a patchwork right there on the side. They'll both in the navy and the orange. Two very strong colorways in that piece. The Todd Notch pullover. So very much of a lightweight piece, drawstring. Um, lighter weight than what you're getting in everything else. The resistance long sleeve. So like kind of a Henley feature long sleeve with the buttons up both in the thermal, or sorry, this is the resistance. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the Embarcatron. We've been trying to figure out how to figure out. <laughs> Don't hold it against us, please. Yeah. Um, it's essentially the same piece, just this one is a little bit more of that thermal uh, type material. And moving into uh, back into our knits. So the first mate crew. So again, very minimal, just a little bit of a patch on the side there in the pocket. And then the what is this one? The sandblast crew, the two tone with the off center pouch. And so the sunny side tank, as shown right here, very good. You could say a beachy party tank. With a little bit of the, just the rib curl patch here on the bottom. Moving into the sun dog tank. So that we're having the rib curl wetty patch right there. And the estate tank. So big logo on the front. Key branding style.
don't miss out on this category, I know it's going to be really successful. Yeah. So sticking with that nice, a little bit more of that retro look, uh, the Mirage Scrambler scallop short. It's a nice Hawaiian print up top. Then the other colorway in the camo, the orange. The Mirage Daydreamer. So full Hawaiian print on that one. Top knot short, right there. And the shackles, board short. Reboot board short, going right here. And the others, no. This is the, uh... the Mirage Tribal, right here. And the Pacific Paradise board short as shown here. I know you're going to order like 100 units of this short. It's going to do very well in Canada. <laughs> uh, we won't run through the next few t shirts because they're kind of climate specific. Uh, the catalog does a good job of explaining what these graphics are. Now we're going to roll into boardwalks. Starting off with our just our classic Mirage boardwalk right here. Available in one new colorway for holiday. Going into the Don't Look Back boardwalk. Sand trap to the beach. Um, I feel like we should have intermission music when we talk. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, come on, come on. Anyway, that's the Mirage Double Down. Oh, that's the surprise. Surprise pack. Oh, okay. That one's bad. Yeah. <laughs> the Mirage Double Down. Sure. Again, very dad friendly. Clubhouse to the beach. And a surprise, easy. This one does have the elastic the drawstring, uh, going with that more of like old school look. No, there's not much inside. Yeah, there's no internet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to you. The Epic Stretch Tino short. This is one of our number one shorts. Number one. It is a Chino with a really good stretch fabric to it. And then available, oh, Constant Heather short. Basically the same as the Epic Stretch. Just in that heather fabric. The constant. No, this is the epic over day. Yeah. So available uh, four new colorways in this one. Uh, black being one of them. In the epic over day. The sauced walk short. Right here. So there's that like plaid. Again, very dad friendly short. To the steely easy walk short. So, again, keeping with that very old school elastic waist. We won't go for pants with you, but I will make a few notes. So, um, we've had kind of the same pants selection for a few years, but we have two really key styles I want you to think about. Uh, the Epic Overdive pant, it is a more of a slim fit with a full stretch. It is my number one pant. And then for fall, we introduced the Howling pant which is essentially the same type of fit, but it is a slim fit. And I really do think those will do well for us as a brand. And it comes in some really good colors and the price is spot on. Uh, we do have sweet sweatpants. So yeah, the Surf Patrol fleece pant, new sweatpant to the line. Retails at 50 bucks. It actually has the cuff at the bottom, so they're not big and baggy. I think they'll do super well, especially during this time. People are Christmas shopping. Especially in the camo. That's pants. Um, I'm not going to go through t-shirts as well, because t-shirts are t-shirts, and the catalog is all photoed. Uh, any questions, shoot any of us an email, and uh, thanks for uh, letting us give you some entertainment. Thank you. <laughs>